What is good, friends, family, and followers? Uh, welcome back to another Thoughtful Thursday. It is April 22nd, 2021, and it's currently 7.34 p.m. as I sit here in my studio at home. As usual, I'll keep today's Thoughtful Thursday short. I just had a couple of things I wanted to uh, touch base with you on and just some thoughts that I've been having, uh, especially today. It's been a pretty good week. Um, all of my music groups at school are gearing up for our concert coming in just two weeks from now. Um, so I was feeling yesterday like I really wanted to take a day off, but uh, but I can't do it when the concert is coming so close. So I uh, have to get my groups ready, have to do the concert, do a good job there, and then maybe once the concert's over, I'll take a sick day here or there to uh, recuperate. I've been feeling like I really need to do that for myself. Um, I'm a really loyal person. So I'm a guy that's always at work, that always shows up, and I have a lot of sick days accrued. And lately, I've been really thinking that I need to take them for my own mental health, uh, because that's what you should do. If you need a day, you should take a day for yourself, uh, because otherwise, you get worn down coming in nonstop, no matter how tough you think you are. So as soon as the concerts are over, I'm taking a sick day, for show. Mark my words. Hold me to it. Uh, because I will struggle when the time comes to actually do it. So this week, uh, let's see, the word of the week I'm choosing is perspective, uh, because I've been talking to some friends and some family, and I've been considering a job shift uh, with my work. Uh, I actually took an interview yesterday, and I'm hopeful that I will get this job offer that I'm looking at, which would be very different than uh, what I currently do. Um, and it might be different in some good ways, and maybe also different in some not so good ways. So We'll see what happens there. Either way, I've been feeling like perspective is just king in this category because to so many people, you know, what you do, what you do day to day for your work might seem really glamorous or might look as though, you know, you're doing your dreams or I feel like that sometimes when I tell people I'm a music teacher that they think, you know, they think that I've got it made and that I'm doing exactly what I wanted to do and et cetera, uh, which is, you know, some days that feels true. And other days it feels uh, feels like a grind, like any job does, day after day. But luckily, I'm thankful and grateful that I have a job and that I work with such an understanding administration and that I have the freedoms that I do and that it's a relatively uh, creative line of work, which is really cool, but also comes with pressures. Again, uh, perspective is important here. So... Um, I just wanted to talk about that for a moment because I think, yeah, I think that it's all about how you look at it. I think that it's easy to get turned into a negative line of thinking where you're talking about and thinking about things in kind of a negative way. And uh, that can be really detrimental to your own perspective and, and actually seeing things clearly for what they are. Because today I'm thinking, even though I applied for this job, if I get the offer, I don't know if I'm going to take it because I have a lot of things that are going well. Uh, with my teaching and I've gotten a lot better and I'm just going to continue to get better at it. So there's a part of me that's afraid to walk away from all the progress I've made. Um, anyway, that's what's going on in my world. I hope you all are doing well. I wanted to say too, um, last week I talked about people feeling overwhelmed or maybe it was a week before that and giving people some praise and telling them like, hey, you're doing a great job. And so I thought I'd take this moment to tell you Whoever is watching this, you are doing a great job. Thank you. Thank you for taking time in your days to just to be who you are and to, um, and to take care of yourself and to do what you can to care for others around you. Thank you. You're doing an incredible job. I just thought some of you out there probably needed to hear that because I know that I need to hear that sometimes. So thank you again. Okay, my sustainable tip of the week is to take shorter showers, which I don't know if you could tell, but I'm about to go take one myself. Definitely need one. Um, take shorter showers. Wash your hair, clean your body, clean your parts, be done. Rinse off the soap and get out of there. Uh, you got to save water. You have to um, because we are going to run out if we're not careful, especially for those of us who are out here living in a desert. Um, and lastly, I wanted to talk about... Hey, I have two other words of the week. Um, so this goes kind of along with perspective, but gratitude versus complacency are tricky for me too because I think 
we need to be grateful for what we have, and I have so much to be thankful for and grateful for. Um, but I also think that making a change is not a bad thing if you feel like you need to do that. So balancing those two kind of opposites, being grateful, being thankful, taking in all those blessings that you have in your life, but also not being so, but also not being complacent about things and feeling like everything's fine just the way it is. If you need to make a change, if you've been feeling it for a while, you should do that. Uh, because uh, what did a friend say of mine? An old uh, teacher friend of mine told me, what did she say? Hold up, let me pull that up for a second. It was a good quote. She said, the only difference between a rut and a grave is the size of the hole. So that's kind of crazy. So uh, if you feel like you're in a rut, take a moment to be grateful, to change your thinking, sh shift your perspective, and try to think positively about it. But if you still feel like you need to make a change, maybe it's time. Um, yeah. And I feel that too because I love the progress I've made teaching. It's been empowering. It's been amazing working with kids. I'm really going to miss them if I leave. But I also feel really limited in my job experience because this is all I've ever done, really, is taught kids music. Uh, so maybe it's time for me to make a change. Hard to say. See if I get the job offer first. Obviously, I'll keep you all in the loop. And uh, to all of you out there watching, thank you again for being you, for working hard to take care of yourself and take care of your family and friends and those around you. And as always, I hope this video finds you happy, healthy, and humble, and be sure to tune in next week for another Thoughtful Thursday. Peace, everybody. Love you.